Wow, Steve, 30 years at WBOC. Congratulations from all your friends at the doctors. Stay healthy and active and keep up that golf game. It's been a long time since 1987, and for all those years, you have been a friend to everybody watching. So congratulations, Steve, on 30 years of tremendous accomplishment. Well, as you have seen throughout this newscast, we are honoring Steve's legacy, who today does celebrate 30 years at WBOC. All right, are you ready? Sure. Fire away, right? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. I have huh? no idea. All right, it's time to take a look back at your remarkable career now, which includes covering stories that have impacted Del Marvin's really as only you can. And to kick things off tonight, we have asked some special people at our network, CBS, to say a few words. Steve, we've heard that you've read stories about us. Oh, but we have heard some stories about you. Like how you never wanted to leave Delmarva because you love it so much, and it's where you wanted to raise your kids. That you play a mean game of golf. And you enjoy a sapphire gin martini with steak or sushi. Sounds and, good. It does sound good. And that you love your wife, Heather, dearly. We hope so, because word is she loves you, too. Yes. Yeah, so, Steve, from all of us at CBS this morning, congratulations on 30 years at WBOC. And now here's a look at your world in more than 90 seconds. Bye, right, Steve. Campaign 2016 election night finally here. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Hammond. We're keeping an eye on several races here on Delmarva. We Whether following the races or racing in to breaking news coverage. Shifting gears, everybody. Live coverage here of the Antares rocket getting off the launch pad and then bursting into flames. For 30 years, Steve Hammond has graced the airwaves here at WBOC, becoming the most trusted news source on the Delmarva Peninsula. Draper Holdings trustee, Tom Draper. Steve is a face of the LVBOC knows when we have a big story, he generally does it. He's been on the six o'clock forever. Every story has a beginning, and Steve's began at WBOC in 1987 as a fresh-faced reporter who was a graduate from the University of Delaware. Steve began his reporting career as WBOC's first bureau chief in Dover. Honestly, um, the thing that made Steve so interesting and stand out. Steve wants to know everything. He has to get to the bottom of a story. The number of stories Steve has covered is seemingly endless. He's been in fighter jets. And he's traveled to Somalia and Saudi Arabia. And should feed about 14,000 families for a full day. Marilyn Burkle is a former news director here at WBOC. Soon after that, I was in a bank and the teller said to me, did you see Steve Hammond? He was in Saudi Arabia, our Steve Hammond. You know, it was just great that people could understand that um, our mission is broader than Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. Our mission is where our people are. During his three decades at the television station, Steve has really found his niche in politics, from covering races in the field to reporting the results from the desk, along the way, gaining the respect of local politicians. Always found him to, um, uh, to be a, a person um, who was interested in what you were going to share. Uh, numbers continuing to roll in here. Polls in Maryland and Delaware have been closed for about 25 minutes. People who worked with him respected him too because they knew he was a gentleman and that he was honest and that he would have cared. Steve has interviewed Joe Biden before his days in the White House and when those days were winding down. One final question, 10 seconds or less. Are we going to see you run for the White House in four years? No. You made the decision. Yes, I'm running for re-election to the United States Senate. Okay. Senator, thanks, thanks for joining us. Yeah. It's been almost a year since Bo's death. Your fellow Delawareans want to know, how you doing? We're doing, we're doing fine. Uh, we're sticking everybody. I can only say there's been a lot of interviews, but you guys know me. You guys, the Delaware knows us. Uh, the families just hung together. From politics to severe weather, Steve Hammond has done and seen it all. From previewing the big storms in the sands of Ocean City to cutting into programming to inform viewers of an impending dangerous storm. It's going to continue on its uh, northeast track across the peninsula. In the 30 years at WBOC, Steve Hammond not only serves as a staple in local news, but has mentored people who have moved on to new places. 
Hey Steve, it's Melanie Lawson. I'm now Melanie Lawson Minor. I'm here at Channel 4 in Jacksonville and I am so excited to wish you congratulations on 30 years at WBOC. I always tell people that what I've learned and what I do today, much of it comes from you because the foundation, the beginning is where it all starts and I am forever grateful. So a happy 30th news birthday, Steve. And for Steve, his family is and always has been important in his life and to his success. In 30 years, many people have come and many have gone, but one man has remained a constant here at WBOC. For three decades, we here at the television station have been blessed to have Steve Hammond be an integral part of our news family and call Delmarva home. Well, hey, wow. congrats. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. From, That's uh, very nice. Yeah. Whew. A lot of folks did a lot no of work kidding. on that, as you can imagine. Indeed. Hey, Indeed. Just for me, from one journalist to the next, I mean, you just you do it the right way, and that's all you Thank can you. ask from a coworker. So Back it's been an you. honor to work with you. I appreciate it. And continue it. to do so, we will. Thank you. Uh, all right, to say thank you, we want to show you real quick that right there. We do have a cake for you. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> which we will dig into in just a little bit, but not quite yet. I know you have a few words you want to say to the folks of Delmarva. Absolutely. Well, first off, I want to say I'm not retiring. Tonight has a retirement party feel to it. Craig, I'm not being retired, am I? <laughs> uh, we will celebrate it tonight and get right back to work tomorrow. It has been a great run, uh, and there are plenty of people here to thank. First, thanks to WBOC owner Tom Draper and the Draper family who have made this such a great place to work. People always ask why I've stayed here for so long, and I always say there are two main reasons. Delmarva is a great place to live, and WBOC is a great company. And much of that has to do with the people, including General Manager Craig Jehelka and News Director John Deering and all of the people, past and present, who I've worked with here. There are so many talented people here who do an outstanding job, quietly, with little or no fanfare, every day. We are truly a team, and I'm just one member of that team. Most importantly, I'd like to thank my team at home, my wife Heather, my sons Graham and Hunter. You guys are the light of my life. And finally, I want to thank you, the viewers at home. Thanks for allowing us into your homes every day. It's an honor, it's a privilege, and it's, uh, it's not something that we take lightly. So thanks everybody for watching. It's been a great 30 years and we've got many more years together still to come. All right, as always, very well said. Thank you. Dan? And congratulations. I can hear the crowd there. I will say the first time we had severe weather here, Steve started asking me all the questions that I knew the viewers wanted to know that I hadn't said. I was impressed. Oh, thank all you, Dan. Right. Thanks, Dan. Well, uh, I think this is your line. But I'll let you know, <laughs> we don't have a newscast at 7. Enjoy basketball. We'll see That's you right. back here tonight at 11. We do want to take you out, though, with a few more seconds of some of Steve's reporting here oh, on Del Mar. Boy. <laughs> It was a strong southwest wind that blew the water out of the bay. This is the worst flooding they have seen in a long, long time. It took 11 years for Milford High School to fully integrate. Attracting more jobs to the eastern shore. How do we do that? Welcome to Discover Del Marva. We knew this race was going to get nasty and salty. <laughs> Just the way I like them. Steve Hammond, WBOC News, Ocean City.